Uh, today what we'd like to do is uh, give a little update on pen growth. Um, this is the last presentation today. I guess that's uh, the good news or the bad news. Does uh, anybody need a seventh inning stretch or are we ready to go? Just fire through it. I'm going to go through this fairly quickly. So uh, there's more slides than I wanted to present. I um, put some of this together on the flight back from Dubai this last week. As you know, I've been traveling, uh, seeing potential investors globally. And uh, so I uh, made some updates to the presentation. Some you've seen before and, and some you haven't. But uh, I thought uh, uh, I'd go through it fairly quickly and I'm sure there'll be some questions at the end of the session. And particularly as we are the last presentation of the day, I didn't want to belabor some of these points. Uh, first of all, our standard form of disclosure. Everybody in the back can read that. We've, uh, we're one of the oldest, uh, I'm not sure you want to say we're the oldest, but one of the longest standing uh, energy trusts being in business now for about 20 years. Uh, enterprise value about three and a half billion dollars. Uh, revenues last year billion nine. Cash flow about 900 million. Cash on cash currently about 15%. Overall returns uh, since inception about 14% per annum compound despite the recent market declines. And uh, uh, this is a direct interest in producing oil and gas properties. Our strategy has been to grow the fund through acquisitions, and we've been successful in doing that over longer periods of time. We've been one of the larger acquisitors in our sector of the business. Uh, over 50 acquisitions in the last 10 years, acquired over $5 billion in assets, raised about $3.5 billion in equity, and a billion dollars in, in private placement debt capital. We've been prudent in our financial management, maintaining a prudent balance sheet for the fund over many years. We've developed our assets, uh, offsetting depletion to the extent that we can. One of our um, uh, more active areas in recent years has been the acquisition of producing oil and gas fields from major companies, majors and super majors, and then uh, doing further development. These are undercapitalized assets, doing further development, offsetting the depletion and offsetting the declines at these properties. The case in point being Carson Creek, I'll speak to in a few minutes. And we also have been efficient in the management of our operations, uh, always looking at our cost structure, looking at our capital structure, looking at various ways that we can become more efficient, uh, both in the organization and also from a financial point of view. 